Hi friends, welcome to Nina Yoga Now YouTube channel. I'm Nina and today we have a cardio leg day. That is a short and intense class that will get us strong and sweaty and flexible together. So basically we need our yoga mat, but if you need any props to helps you to modify, feel free to grab it and take as many breaks as you need. This is for all levels, but feel free to modify. Once you grab it all, join me on the mat. All right, yogis, let's get started with a nice shoulder row. Just something that we can release the shoulders. Start with just a shoulder row to the back. Moving the shoulders up, back and down, big circles. Now, can you add a little bit of elbows? That's it. Start moving, put your bass songs, right? Something that you can bring the energy on. Maybe get a little bit bigger on those movements. Now to the front, start just the shoulders. Yeah. Maybe take your chin in and allow the neck to relax, okay? Now add a little bit more, maybe the elbows start coming. That's it. Maybe the hands a little bit, right? Just allow everything to relax. Now, slowly, goddess position. Heels in, toes out, tailbone under. Knees going towards the pinky. Just little poses. Down, 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 and down. That's it. Keep on moving and just pay attention now on feeling all corners of your feet. Tailbone under, belly under. That's it, yogis. Not bad right now, right? Just feeling a little burn on the quads, but not much intense. Let's just stretch out. Straight the legs, bring your feet parallel, forward fold. If you need, you can keep a soft bend on the knee, okay? Just something you can relax your shoulders, tuck your chin in, relax your neck. Maybe transfer most of your weight on the balls of your feet and spread your toes. Feeling a little bit deeper on your hamstrings, the back of your leg. Next inhalation, flat back, just a halfway lift. And exhale, foam. Next inhalation, just coming up, one breath at a time, give a nice shoulder roll. Heels in, toes out, back to the goddess. Go deep, 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 up and down, up and down. So maybe this time you're going a little bit deeper as you go down, okay? And again, you keep pressing those knees out, feeling those abductors to work towards you. Feeling those side of glutes as well. Just a little bit more. As alignment wise, you do want to have a knee and ankle a straight line down, or the knees a little bit in related to the ankles, okay? Straight the legs, feet parallel, second round, relax. Maybe this time it feels a little bit looser or Less tight, let's say this way, right? Transfer the weight towards the balls of your feet, spread your toes. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, one breath at a time, give a nice shoulder row. And exhale, bring the heels in, toes out. So we have a movement and I just want you to pay attention as you go because you need to move both feet and adjust both feet to do it. Okay, so at first, back to those poses, a little bit faster this time. One, 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 that's it. So make sure that you're not straightening the legs or locking your knees, it's just down, 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 down. I will share my playlist on the description of this video, but if you're not able to grab it, I will give other options, okay? And don't miss it all. Just put it yours. That's totally fine. Here we go. It's time to start moving. Stop it down. So pay attention now. We'll go slow this first one. We'll bring it to a lunge. So make sure that your back heel will lift 
in the front foot, so both feet will be squared towards the front of the mat. Back into the goddess. So the first round, a little bit slower, just so you can feel the movement of your feet as you go. So down we go into the low lunge, tap the toes, goddess go low, other side tap the knee, goddess go low, straight the legs, forward fold, relax. So next one, we'll add three pulses on each one. Get a big breath here and a big breath out. Inhale, flat back and exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly coming up, give a nice shoulder row. Heels in, toes out. So here we go. It will be one, two, three, low lunge, one, two, three, back to center, one, two, three, other side, one, two, three, and center, one, two, three, side, one, two, three, center, one, two, three, side, one, two, three, center, deep, 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 side, deep, 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 center, one, two, three, side, you got it, and center, one, two, three, side, center, last time, last time, other side, and center, straight the legs, feet parallel, forward fold. Recover, inhale, flat back. We got it, exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up, give a nice shoulder row. Now, just step towards the front of your mat. Toes together, heels is slide close. Spread your toes into the floor. Squeeze your glutes, tailbone under, belly in. Inhale, arms lift overhead. Exhale, forward fold, relax. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, right leg will step back. Right knee on the floor. Inhale, arms lift overhead. And exhale, frame the feet. Lift the right knee, step the left foot back, plank position. Just take a time here to make sure you have the alignment. Toes together, either kneeling position or full plank. Squeeze your inner thighs, tailbone under, pressing the floor away and belly in. We will move to a side plank. So drop into the side of your feet and press your hips as high as possible. Back of your elbow towards the side, so don't twist the elbow and shoulder pressing away, okay? Holding just for a second. As you press here, you know where we're going, right? Cause it's me, I love this. Dip a hip, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, back to plank. Here we go, shift the way forward, elbows in, chaturanga all the way to the floor. Roll the shoulders. Exhale, tuck your toes. And downward facing dog. Big breath here. Right leg will lift all the way up to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest, step the foot between the hands. Drop the left knee. Inhale, arms lift overhead. Just a little stretch here, right? Exhale, frame the foot. Back leg come in, step in, forward fold. You can have feet parallel, hip width. Inhale, flat back, and exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands into the heart center. Toes come out, heels in. So it's Kandasana. Slowly start sitting. So sometimes you don't have much of the hip mobility. You might be all the way up here in the sumo squat position, okay? and that's fine. But if you're in the sumo squad, I will want you to not relax. I want you to press the tailbone under and stay up so you have a straight spine, okay? Now, if you're able to go down, perfect, right? What we're doing here, Nina, just tiny movements, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, 
down, down, squeeze the knees out. Again, in down. Next one, as you straight, feet parallel, inhale, arms lift overhead, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. This time, left leg step back. Drop the left knee to the floor. Inhale, arms lift. Drop the hips down to feel that hip flexors are stretching as well. Frame the foot, plank position. Adjust your plank as you need. Squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the glutes. Slowly going towards the side plank on the other side. Strong on the side plank, remember the shoulder position, elbow position. Press your hips as high as possible. Try to keep your hips stuck one over the other, chest and hips squared towards the side. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to center. Take your vinyasa chaturanga elbows in. Pressing for your upper facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Shake it out. Breathe out. Inhale, left leg will lift up to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest, step the foot between the hands. Drop the right knee. Inhale, arms lift. Again, use this to stretch out. Exhale, hands down. Front foot, back foot go towards the front. Inhale, flat back and exhale fold. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, hands into the heart center, heels and toes out. You know where we're going, right? So drop into full range of motion of Malasana. But this time, I would just turn forward so you see where we're going. We bring the knee in, out, in, out, in, out. So if you're out, lift the heel up to give you mobility and rotate from the big toe. Okay, let's go. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Nine, eight, seven, six, you got it. Four, four, <laughs> three, two, one, ho. That's it. Inhale, press the floor away, arms reach high. Exhale, feet parallel, hands in the heart center. Inhale, arms swipe up and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right leg step back. Keep the right knee out of the floor, if it's that for you. Twist towards the left knee, reaching high. We're going for side plank again, so do that first flow. Or from here, drop the right heel and bring the left foot together. You can have the left foot from two. Let's go. Up and down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This time, rotate on the edge of that pink left toe. Side plank from the other side, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back to center, vinyasa, so chanyaranga elbows in, press into your upper facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> exhale. Inhale, right leg will lift all the way up to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest, so step the foot between the hands, drop the left heel for your warrior one, slowly lifting, square your hips forward, relax the shoulders, hands into the heart center. Try to keep a nice bend on the front knee and spread the toes on the front knee. We'll bring that left knee into the chest and twist and bring it back out. Non into that warrior one. Now crescent lunge. Let's go. Exhale. Five, four, three, two. You got one. Warrior one. Open warrior two. Hips and chest square towards me. Remember, knee and ankle in alignment. Arms come towards the side. Let's just stretch for a second, right? Flip the front palm, reach back, and exhale, forward we go. Side angle. So option to side angle is to keep the knee to elbow, and the arm can be up or right here, right? 
Now, pay attention to transition again. You will need to move that left foot. So as you bring your hands into the heart center, straight the right leg, press from the balls of the left foot, he'll come in and we come in down. So the first option is to stay here and bring your back to your side angle as you press again from the balls of the left foot and the heels out. Heel in, side, heel out, that's it, more five, down, inhale four, exhale three, inhale, exhale two, inhale, last one. Now, stop on your skandasana, either high or all the way down. We'll press from the side foot, if it's that for you. We'll lift, five, down, four, three, two, and one. Low lunge on the other side. So adjust your feet. Inhale, arms lift overhead, sink your hips, that stretch out. Frame the foot, front foot go back, plank position. Chanuranga elbows in, inhale to back bend of choice and exhale to press back. Good job, yogis, you got it. Just finding the front of your mat, I gaze forward, you can walk, step, hop, whichever feels good for you. Just exhale, front of the mat. Inhale, flat back, exhale, foot. Inhale, all the way up we go. Squeeze those glutes and inner thighs. Exhale, hands into the heart center. Inhale, arms lift. Bring your heels in, toes out. Exhale, down into the Malasana. Same thing we did on the other side. So knee to center, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Let's go, 10, nine, eight, you got it. Squeeze, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press up, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands into the heart, send feet parallel. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, left leg, step back. Twisting towards the right knee, reaching high. Adjust the foundation of your arm. If you transition for a side plank from here, you gotta have the balance. You have to get it. You gotta have that strength. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just spin the edge of that pink toe and side plank on the other side. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to center plank position. Take your vinyasa, chanuranga elbows in, back bend of choice, and exhale. Press your hips back and high, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg will lift up to the sky. Exhale into chest, so step the foot between the hands. You know, warrior one. Square your hips, tailbone under, belly in, and hands into the heart center. Remember, knee come towards the chest as we squeeze everything towards the side and back into a crystal lunge this time. So five, four, exhale, three, two, and one. Drop the back heel, open, warrior two. Remember, adjust your feet, knee and ankle in alignment. Flip the front palm, give the nice stretch. And now forward with you into that side angle. Choose your option. If you need block, place a block here. Open your chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. And here we go, remember, press now. Straight the front leg, press the right heel in. Down we go, as low as you can go. Then press the heel out as you come back to a side angle. So in, exhale out. Inhale in, 
Exhale, use everything. In, more three. Exhale, out. And two. And out. Last one. In, and out. Stop on your skandasana, whichever position it is. If you're in full skandasana all the way down, you can flex that foot and keep pressing this knee out. Let's go up, down, five, four, three, squeeze those glutes too. And when we got it, low lunge on the other side. Just a stretch out, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, frame the foot, back to plank, just yourself. Chaturanga elbows in, inhale to back bend, and exhale to press back. Shake it out. Yo, yes, your down dog, your child pose will be always your place to go. And remember, you can take as many breaks as you need, as many recovers as you need. I gaze forward, slowly find the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back and exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up we go. Exhale, hands into the heart center. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, up in the heel, heels in, toes out, slowly come down. You know where we're going, right? But remember, tailbone under, really lifting this, lengthening the spine up to the sky. Now, this time, it's three times, up, 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 down, down and six times, knee in, okay? Let's go up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, down, down. Last one. Now knee in, out, in, out. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, press away. Feet parallel, exhale, hands into the heart center. Inhale, arms lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, right leg step back. Twisting towards the knee. Here we go, side plank we go. This time, we'll press and hold that side plank as high as we can, and the left leg will lift up and down, up and down for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up. Now bend the knee, open the knee towards the side, tip toes on the inner thigh. Now bring the knee in, spin on the edge of that pinky toe. So now your left knee is bent in. Keep pressing the hip high. We will straight that left leg towards the side. Tap the side foot or the pink on down the floor and lift. 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep squeezing. Five, four, three, two, one. Kick that foot back. Here we go, plank position. Chaturanga elbows in. Inhale for back bend, and exhale to press that back into your downward facing dog. Shake it out. Whew. Right, let it go, let it go. Knee is here for support. <laughs> Inhale, right leg will lift up to the sky. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, warrior one we go. But well, we sort of know where he's coming. Hands into the heart center. Find your foundation, the front leg, as you bring the weight in, twist, and bring it back. For four, three, two, one. Now open, warrior two. Hips and chest towards the side, arms reach sideways. Flip the front palm, reach back, reverse warrior or sun warrior, and forward we go into that side angle. From here, just bring it back to your warrior two. Hands into the heart center, straight the legs, feet parallel, and bring the heels in. So adjust yourself back into the goddess position. Go down as you can. Hands, whichever position feels good. 
Now, we lift one heel and drop. Heel down, heel up, down, heel up, hips down, heel down, heel up, sink, heel up, sink, heel up, sink, heel up, sink. Here we go, we got the tempo, right? Heel up, sink, heel up, sink. So switch heels, heel up, sink, heel up, sink. I know it's harder, but we're working way more on those inner thighs, right? Keep on moving. More three, two, and one. Feet parallel, forward fold. Shake it out. Transfer most of your, the weight forward towards the balls of your feet. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, one breath at a time, slowly coming up. Give a nice shoulder bow. Now bring your heels back in and the toes out. You know where we're going, right? Just deep. This time, we're adding a little bit more. Why not, right? So up and down, up and down, just like we start. And if I tell you this is the last time we're doing this, right? So enjoy it. But because it's the last time we're doing goddess, well, last time on this part of the flow, right? We will pre two times, but in just this part and then we're done. Deal? Okay. And I hope you keep moving with me, right? Because I'm burning, my legs are shaking, and I'm right here with you. Here we go, hold it down. Back to that first flow. Hands can be on the heart center. we back in, tap the knee. Back to goddess and tap knee. Back to goddess. Switch and out. Knee in, knee out. Knee in, knee out. Knee in, knee out. Straight the legs, relax. Exhale. Big inhale and big exhale. Inhale, flat back, and exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, give a nice shoulder row. Heels in, toes out this time. Three, two, one, knee tap. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one, side. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one, side. Three, two, one, center. Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, center. Straight the legs, relax. See, that's why it's the last time we're doing this. Inhale, flat back, and exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, roll the shoulders, heels in, toes out. Here we go. Just finishing up with the heel lift. Bring your heels a little bit in, because we will try to lift both heels out of the floor at the same time. If you need to have chair, anything to hold here, wall, totally up to you. Other eyes, spread the toes, find your balance. Hands, whichever help you. Go down, up and down. Let's go. 30, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Straight the legs. Shake it out. Second round. But here we go, that's the secret. Tap the heel down to the floor, lift fast. Maybe you're going just one inch, half centimeter up. It's enough to strengthen your ankle, okay? Let's go down. Remember, heels slide in, because when you lift, you will still want to have ankle and knee in alignment. Spread the toes, ready? Let's slow down a little bit more. Down, down, down. 
let's go. 30, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, straight the legs, relax, shake it out, warrior two, hey, it's where we just stop the flow on the other side, right? Flip the front palm, reach back, give a nice stretch. Forward we go, side angle. Everything on the right side. Drop the hip, press the ankle in, or the hip in as you press into Skandasana. Five times, let's go. Out, in, and more four. Exhale, inhale. More three, exhale, and two, exhale, and one, last one, exhale, and down, let's go for that low lunge. This time, press your hips back for a half a split. So knee and ankle in alignment, front foot flex, open your chest. If you need, place blocks, props, so you're not arching. One more big breath here. Right, Nene? That's it. Bend the front knee. Press from the hands, plank position, kneeling or full plank. Let's go. Chandiranga elbows in. Press into your back bend of choice. And exhale. Press back into your downward facing dog. Shake it out. Last time doing the flow. We just need to go all the way towards the other side. I gaze forward, find the front of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up we go. Squeeze the glutes and the thighs. Hands into the heart center. Heels in, toes out. Slowly exhale down. Same thing, pressing the knees out. Tailbone under, spine is straight up. We're going up, up. Up, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, down. Last time, up, 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 down, down, down. Six times, knee in, out, in, out. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, press the floor away, feet parallel. Exhale, hands into the heart center. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, left leg will step back, twisting towards the right knee, just like we did on the other side. So you drop that left ankle, so you're in the side plank right here. We lift the leg up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee out, pinky on over the thigh. Now bring the knee forward as you come to the side plank on the other side. So just spin on the edge of the big toe, straight the right leg, pink on the floor, and left for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, press the hips high as you can, two, one, bring the knee, kick the foot out for your plank, Chanuranga elbows in, inhale for your upper facing dog or cobra, exhale for your down facing dog, Woo. shake it out, I know, I'm dribbling waterfalls here. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest. Step the foot between the hands. Warrior one. Last warrior one of the flow. Exhale, hands into the heart center. Here we go. Five times, knee to chest. Oops, finding balance. Up and out. Pressing from the balls of your feet for five, four. Exhale, three two, one, drop, open warrior two, arms towards the side, flip the front palm, give yourself the nice stretch, and forward we go. 
you got it. In the warrior, we don't have goddess. But we're back to warrior two. Hands into the heart center. Straight the legs. Feet parallel. Slowly forward for you. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. So here you go, you might place, need a block to place your hand over. We just find a few twists. So you want the hand to be between the same distance of both feet. So left hand down to the floor, right hand up. I guess can be down or up, whichever feels most comfortable for you. Now try to bring your weight towards the balls of your feet, but not much on the hands. Can you even lift the hand up and use your core? Look, you can even reach up to me. I know. Slowly down for your food. Other side, hand down to the floor, other hand reaching high. Try to not twist the hip with you. Try to keep the hip squared. Now bring your weight forward to the balls of your feet. Can you come into the fingertips or can you lift the hand out of the floor and keep the twist? Again, I guess it's better what makes you feel balanced and stable. Slowly both hands on the floor, forward fold. Inhale, slowly come up. Back to the warrior two position. Flip the front palm, reach back. And forward we go. Yeah, it's the last time we're doing the transition into Skandasana. So bring the heel in, come out, and press the heel out as you come towards the side. And more three, and out. More two, and out. Last one, and out. This time, as you stop into your skandasana hold, again, find your alignment, open your chest, get strong again, find some energy. We go up and down. Five, four, you got it. We went all the way through here, right? Two, and one. Good. Flip that front thing, press the hip back, knee, and hip in alignment, flex the front thing. Just open your chest. One more big breath. Bend that front knee. And press into your down dog, not onto your plank, but all the way back into your down dog. Shake it down. Thank you, Nini. Inhale, right leg lift up to the sky. Exhale, knee, step between the hands, drop the back heel, same as warrior one, but you keep the front leg straight. Here we go. Square your hips forward. You want heel in heel passing, you're touching the same center line. Now, tailbone under belly and relax your shoulders. Keeping both legs straight, straight as possible. Inhale, arms lift overhead. Using your core, come forward. Don't relax. Keeping, trying to reach forward. Make your right heel, right heel, right femur, right leg, come back into the socket of the hip. So you should be feeling the right leg on the back on your calf and all the way to the side of your leg, activating as you open the chest and try to reach forward. You get as low as you can, as long as you keep the arms reaching forward, forward, forward. Now relax, keeping the legs straight. So really relax is just like, let the upper body relax. But the, both legs are straight, both quads are engaged. And if you can walk your arms farther as possible, that's great. Next inhalation, you bring your right hand on the side of your right big toe, as the left hand will up it all the way up to the sky, and you press the hip back. So the left hip will press back 
Now, if you need, you can bring the left feet instead of a 45 towards the side of the mat. Now, open your chest. So the chest now is squared towards the side of your mat. The arm can be up if you want, or it can be down to the hip. But really trying to open from the belly to the chest, squaring towards the side. Pressing the hips back, feeling on your inner thighs, stretching. Using your core, slowly lifting to the fingertips, fingertips, slowly up, 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 up. There you go. Just switch the feet position. So now your right foot will come towards the side, or 45, both heel in alignment. Inhale, right arm reach up as you leave the left arm going all the way down, okay? Again, same thing we did before. You do want to press the hip back. Keep the chest squared towards the side, pressing the, that left hip forward and the right hip back. Really trying to open your chest. But the eye gaze again, it's whatever feels most comfortable on your neck. Really trying to gauge those abs. Lengthening the spine actively. And slowly, if you need to reset, remember, slowly coming up, up, fingertips, using that core, up, 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 up we go. Now the hips will square forward. So sometimes all you need to do is tap the legs a little bit closer so you have more room to twist. Or you need to tap the foot sideways. So you have room again for your hips to square forward. So they're not towards the side, they square towards the back or the front of your mat. Hinge from the hips. Remember, keeping both legs as engaged and as straight as possible. The arms come overhead and exhale. Forward we go, really reaching. This time, is the left leg is pressing inside of the hip socket. So pressing back as the right leg press forward. Both legs are straight. Feeling is strong, not only flexible, right? Maybe the eye gaze forward will help you to lengthening a little bit more, reaching a little bit further with the arms. Using that core, squeeze that belly in. Really strong here. Slowly relax down to the floor or on the blocks, right? Whatever you need. Walk your hands further, further, further. Get a little bit deeper on the stretch. Remember each side and each day is different for us. So sometimes what we do in one side is not gonna happen on the other and vice versa. Just respect this difference on the body. This time, soft bend on that left knee. Bring the right knee down and sit on the floor towards me. Good job, Yogis. We are in the last stretch of the class and Savasana, yeah, obviously up to you. So the last stretch is just to get the IT band. We got a lot of side glutes working. So first option is to come into your cow face pose. So both knees are stuck one over the other and the heels are in. Sometimes it looks like your cow is flying, right? The knee doesn't go down. And that's totally a flexibility thing. One day you will get there. We all look different because we have different bodies. Inhale, lift the shoulders and exhale, relax them back down. Now from here, inhale, arms lift overhead. If you have the left leg just like I have, the right hand will reach back into the back of your back of your back, palms facing the spine and pressing the elbow. One more big breath. You can stay here 
or you can give for a bind so the left hand will reach back and you will interlace the fingers if possible. If not, just allow the arm uh, to be reaching back, okay? Relax your shoulders down. Little side bend. If it might be too intense on the shoulders, then don't do it. Keep your chest square towards the side of your mat or square on the same side as your hip. And up we go, other side. And back up. Relax the shoulders, give a nice shoulder row. This left knee, lift and hug it in. So sometimes what happens is start lifting the hip. If you do, bring in front of your chin, okay? We will inhale, arms lift, exhale, hug the right arm and knee. Twisting, square towards the inner thighs on the side. You look like this, okay? One more big breath here. Now we'll straight this leg. Hold on any part on the side of the leg and keep the chest open, squeezing the shoulder blades. Slowly switch side. So as you see, keep your knees stuck in, both sit bones grounded. Inhale, arms lift. This time the left palm is reached on the back of your spine, pressing the left knee, left and elbow down. You can stay here and do those side bends right here, or you can try to just external rotate so the shoulder come back and the palm is facing back, or you try to give a bind. Now, lift your chin up, don't let everything collapse up in the chest, and now it's slowly coming towards the side bend. Remember, if it's too much, don't do it. I mean, it should feel super uncomfortable, but never painful. Now, other side. It is good for all the side planks we did as well to stretch the legs. Slowly come back to center, release the hands. Inhale, give a nice shoulder row. And now slowly remember, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, just hug the knee in. So same thing on the side. So if you notice, I have a knee and chest passing on the same line. But it will depend on your spinal mobility, but you do want to feel right here on the side of your leg, okay? Next inhalation, we'll straight the leg. So you can hold any part on the side of the leg, side of the foot, as long as you can keep that chest left and twisting, but it's still feeling that stretch running all the way to the side of your leg. One more big breath. And exhale, release. Come the soles of the feet together, just shake it out. That's it, yogis. That's all I had for you for today for cardio leg day. I hope you got waterfall dripping sweat just like I did and you enjoy this class. Hope see you next time. Namaste.